Okay, now find the third term of the expansion of x plus 3 to the power of 4. And I will be using this formula, tk plus 1, is equal to nck. And don't worry, it will explain everything, every element, to the power of n minus k times y to the k. Great. So we're looking for the third term, which means that k plus 1 is equal to 3. So I can subtract 1 from both sides, and k will be just 2. That's because we're looking for the third term. And great. So now, what is n? n is just going to be 4. So that is n. And that's always going to work out to be the exponent right there. So, so far, we have t3 is equal to n c k. So that's our n, that's our k. x, x is just going to be the first term. Coincidentally, it's also really an x. But it could be anything. It could be 5y here, whatever, to the power of n minus k. So 5 minus 2. Sorry, I said 5, but it's 4. 4 minus 2. Where is my head today? And y is the second term, in this case 3, to the power of k, which is 2. Great. Now remember that n c k, just a combination, is equal to n factorial all over k factorial times n minus k factorial. If you have any problems with factorials or combinations, you can go to our website and check out combinatorics. And so n c k is just going to be 4 c 2. So that's 4 factorial all over 2 factorial times 4 minus 2 factorial. 4 factorial is just equivalent to 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 all over. 2 factorial is just 2 times 1, and 4 minus 2 is 2, and 2 factorial is just 2 times 1 again. So these guys are going to cancel out. The 2's, 4 divided by 2 is just 2, 2 times 3 times 1 is just 6, so 4c2 is 6. I just decided to break this way down in this case, because it's just the first question I'm doing, but in the later questions I won't break down as nicely because I will assume that you already know what's going on. We can practice a few of these to become sharp. Okay, so here we have 6x squared because 4 minus 2 is 2, 3 to the 2, and 3 squared is 9, 9 times 6, 54, and x squared stays there. So that is the third term of our expansion, 54x squared.